Hello and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. I have a quick update about Euro Pound. This is an idea which was shared weeks ago or a month ago or so, but now with the latest developments, let's call them with the war that is happening and all that, we can see that the market is extremely volatile and some currencies are moving in specific directions, which means the whole situation here could be changing. Quick update, of course, uh, yeah, I'm going to post a link to the previous video um, in order to get the, the full picture, but pretty much what we were looking for, I was looking for, is a range. And once the price goes towards the bottom of this range, expecting it to push up as long as it holds. The interesting part about this one is that previous week, this is the extreme point, previous week closed below it, okay? So it becomes super interesting to see whether this is going to turn into a false break or not. And in my opinion, at least as long as uh, the war keeps going on, and this situation remains, we're going to remain in the bearish side. In order to confirm this kind of um, idea, let's call it, I need to go down to the lower time frames and see whether the technical analysis can confirm that. Initially, because we have these divergences on daily, on weekly chart, I was like, all right, if the price is false breaking here, this is the extreme zone from weekly, we're likely going to reverse, right? And this is not viable setup. But then I realized that we have this very specific zone right here, which is probably going to play the key role in this setup. So in other words, what I would like to see from this setup in order to work, because we know divergences fail, right? Especially during breakouts, it would be much better if the indicators are supportive, but price action always comes in first place. Indicators and everything else comes second. And what the price action is telling me here is that the zone must hold, okay? In terms of invalidation or protection, of course, we must say that none of that is a financial advice, right? Just sharing opinions here, but in my opinion, for this thing to continue lower, first of all, we need to see the price holding right here. And I'm personally going to use the previous zone, and this is a critical massive level, first time, second time, breakout, consolidation, continuation. Then you have an attempt to break, stopping it. Then you have breakout, which failed miserably, but managed to hold the zone. And then attempting here with a breakout to continue up. So for many people, this is going to be a buy signal. You're at the bottom of weekly chart, weekly support, years, years of support here, right? A reversal, the ever I mean, it looks perfect for a buy and boom, it simply fails. This is usually happening during very, very um, strong momentum. So that alone is an indication that we're probably going to continue lower. What I started saying here is that you can be using this as a stop loss. You can be using that zone as a stop loss. The only difference would be that this is a bit more conservative because that's an actual swing, right? Coming from daily chart and those levels this one and that one are kind of inner right to this level however i can't simply ignore all the price action that we see here i can't ignore that so being a bit more aggressive protecting this level right here makes sense because you're saving around i don't know 30 to 50 percent depending on where exactly you're going to place it however However, that doesn't mean that if the price gets to this zone right here, I will be selling. As I said in the beginning, I need to see the price holding that zone. And ideally, my sales are going to be happening anywhere inside the first 50% of this zone. All right. 
So basically you have this big box and either I need to see the cell setup happening here, or if we go for ABC, which the one hour chart already starts suggesting might be the case. Uh, if we're going for ABC, and this is just the first wave, I need to see pullback, push, stopping wherever it's going to stop, could be testing the high, could be stopping here somewhere, I don't know. But once the price starts moving lower, I'm going to look for setups once again below, all right? Not here, here, all right? So that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, again, not a financial advice, just the way I see it. And then on the four hour chart, one hour chart, we can see that the price started forming a potential impulsive structure here. And this is where my opinion for a potential wave is forming because if we have impulse here, pull back, second wave up is very, very likely to happen. And this is also one of the reasons why going and protecting something above makes a lot of sense because if that's your ABC here, something like, of course, we have no clue where it's going to stop, if it's going to stop and all that. But if it does this and then pull back, this is approximately where the duplication of the first wave is going to be. Approximately, right? Could be here, could be here, could be here. I don't know. We need two more points to be created in order to project the second wave. But at that point, the way it is developing, this kind of protection, protecting this zone makes a lot of sense. So this setup is pretty much based on price action. We are throwing in a bit of um, MACD, a bit of divergences here, a bit of convergences. And FIBO not really being used. We're just using a projection, right? But not really clear at that stage because we don't have the points. So that's about it. I believe if you have any questions, please hit me up with a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.